Every day, 11 and a half million of us take packed lunches to work or school. But how many of us actually think about what's going on with the food that ends up in our lunch boxes? So what is the difference between a cake and a biscuit, other than the way they look? Just the way they're processed, I guess. A biscuit's hard. Why do you reckon you don't see cucumbers like this in the supermarket? Far too big. That's too big, yeah. you think? That one's completely wrong. It's a, it's a bit out of joint, that one, isn't it? <laughs> what do you reckon the connection is between this slime, a rotting cabbage, and a very popular supermarket food? I'm pretty sure I actually don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to reveal the secrets in the packed lunchbox, food factory style. There are thousands of products to choose from in the supermarket, but most of us wouldn't have a clue about what goes into making them. So I've set up my own food factory inside this barn to find out what they're doing with our food. It may look as though it's full of junk, but it's got everything I need to discover the secrets of supermarket food. If you decide on a carton of fruit juice for your packed lunch, there's so many to choose from. Freshly squeezed, from concentrate, not from concentrate, with bits, without bits. But what's really in your fruit juice? I want to see how many sugar lumps do you think represents the amount of sugar in each glass? Probably two. Perhaps we'll put one, one. there. One sugar lump there. <laughs> what you got there? Ridiculous amount. Well, there's going to be more <laughs> sugar than apples. There are five sugar lumps in cloudy. In, in one that. glass. And there's five in clear. Oh, the same. Really? Boil down a glass of apple juice, and this charred pulp is what's left behind. Let's taste a little bit. And you see the glistening on the surface? Well, that's the sugar. It's naturally occurring fruit sugar, but there's about the same amount of calories in fruit juice as there is in the fizzy drink. Concentrated apple juice is identical to freshly squeezed when it comes to sugar and calories. So what is the difference? And why is it cheaper than other apple juices? What are the factories up to? Well, to find out, I'm going to make my own. 